Well, good morning all my YouTube friends. It is March 22nd. It is currently 38 degrees. Gorgeous day. Well, I mean it's 10 o'clock and it looks like it's almost like dusk or dawn or whatever. It's cloudy and we're supposed to get rain today. But at least it's not that heavy, crappy snow that I've been having to shovel. Which they're saying we're probably going to get on Friday. But today is not so bad. Today, also, I have good news. I think good news. I haven't shot it yet. But this is the 1968, my birth bowl. 1968 Kodiak Magnum. 48 pounds. 52 inch AMO and if you remember when I got this the bottom limb was twisted and I was very 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 upset about it and after reading through all the comments of the people that uh, had pity on me uh, I came up with a plan of I would just sit and watch TV and I'd have my gloves on and I'd leave it strong and I would just bend the twist the limb in the opposite direction of which you know it was twisted and it worked so I did that for about I'd say a good solid week until I could draw the bow and let it back down it would, it would still be centered perfectly and then I unstrung it, hung it for a couple of days and strung it back up and she went right back in to being perfect. So I've, I believe I fixed the twist in the bow without having to heat it up. I myself am just not a, I just don't like the idea of heating up bowls because I mean, this is all glue. You heat up the limbs and you start messing around, it's gonna loosen everything up in there. So, all right. Let's try the very first shot here of the K-Mag. <laughs> I was shooting for the center and look at that. <laughs> and as you can see, that is just running straight. You can see well, you probably can't see in the camera, but you can see the line where it used to go down. And look at that, it's right smack dab in the middle. And that shot was right smack dab in the middle. I think I saved the bow. I was so upset, if you guys remember. I wish I could do that with that Bearcat takedown that I just got that's got that twisted limb, but it's not wooden limbs on that. And the, the twist is way more severe on that than it is than it was on this one. Heck yeah. Oh, I'm happy. I had searched long and wide for a, uh, I would like to get a regular Grizzly, a 68 Grizzly, because I just wanted my, uh, birthday bowl and so far the only one I've ever found was this K-Mag it's hard to find for some reason it's hard to find 1968 bowls I find a ton of 69's of course throughout the 70's even the early 60 Grizzlies I find a ton of them I mean I have a lot of what do I have five Grizzlies now heck yeah Now this arrow is not tuned to this bow, so. But I mean, still, that's not that bad of a shot. What is that? And that was 20 yards. That's about, you know, I'm shooting for this little black dot. That's about an inch to the right is all. Uh, also, even though I didn't get drawn for my turkey permit this year, uh, they did have a auction go up by the Wisconsin DNR to buy extra permits. I was able to buy an extra permit, but it was for the last period, which is May, May 24th to May 30th. Yeah, May 24th to May 30th. So that's the period that I've got to turkey hunt this year. And that's gonna be crappy because 
you know, obviously it's going to be super hot. There's going to be skeeters everywhere and there will be ticks everywhere and the birds will be done breeding. So it's going to be harder to call them Tom's in. And, but it's better than not being able to hunt at all. So just wanted to give you guys the update on the old K bag. I got the limb fixed. Look at that. All that shooting, it's still right in the center of the groove. Perfect. I'm so happy now that I got that fixed. Um, hope you all are doing good. Uh, not sure what the next video will be. Maybe some fishing. Probably just some more boring shooting of the bow. But like I always say, if you don't like it, you can always go somewhere else. And uh, that's basically all I do is just hunt fish and shoot my bows. I know it probably gets boring for you all. But that's my life and that's what I like to do. So I'll catch you guys on the next one. And uh, hope you all are doing well. Thanks. Bye.